Welcome to the fourth video in our iPhone Photography Schools uh, video tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tilt Shift, which is one of the more advanced features of Snapseed. And in order to do, show you how this works, I'm going to go ahead and choose an image. And I'll take this image. And before we can really get into Tilt Shift here, I think I'm going to have to do quite a bit of uh, editing before that. So I'll just do it quickly. First I want to straighten it so that, and I'm going to make sure that the brown line at the bottom of the building is more or less horizontal. Not quite. Uh, all right. That's about right. So this is the first step. Next, step two is always cropping, right? So I'm going to crop this image and what I really want to focus on here is these two cyclists and the cool thing about them is if you look at this more carefully there's really a nice reflection of the cyclists into the huge puddle. So that's what I'm going to focus on here. So I'm going to make... Uh, I'm going to crop out most things and I'm just really leaving in the cyclists because that's what counts in this image. And now I just have to choose the right composition because this is really essential here. And after playing around for a bit, I think that something like this is good. Because notice I don't want to have uh, I don't want to have the top part here, the sky, because I don't think it adds to the image. I think it's actually nicer that we have the sky in the reflection, but not here. And I also want, I want the cyclists to be big enough, but I don't want them to be too, too big, you know? I, I still want some context around the picture. And I think something like this might just work right. I also want to have this interesting uh, round thing on the top right corner. I want to keep that in, because it just, it just looks weird, so that's why I like it here. All right, and now once we have a good um, composition, we can go ahead and save it. Okay, that looks good to me. Next I'm gonna make this image black and white. Again, we've done this before, but just as a quick repetition. Now, I'm gonna increase contrast. And... decrease brightness. Let's see how much we can increase the contrast. You can increase it quite a lot here. For black and white, you can always increase contrast more than for colored photos. And what you can see here really is that the more you increase the contrast, the more the reflection stands out. And the cool part about this image is, of course, the reflection. So that's what I'm interested in. So I think I'm going to leave it at something like... Something like 40 for now. And I might even decrease the brightness a bit more. Something like this. We can always change these a bit more later, but I think this is a good starting point. So we'll save it. And now I can finally show you Tilt Shift, which is why I'm doing this video. So Tilt Shift is here towards the bottom. It's one of the modules. And for Tilt Shift, you have the star icon. And what you can do is you can select between elliptical and linear Tilt Shift. As you probably already see, Tilt Shift, in essence, and here we can change the shape of it, what Tilt Shift does is it really uh, blurs out everything outside the middle circle while keeping the central parts of the image sharp. Uh, and most of the times I tend to use linear circle uh, Tilt Shift. I just like that better than, better than the elliptical for some reason. And what I try to, try to do is I want to make sure that the Tilt Shift uh, tilt shift lines correspond to some natural lines that you see naturally in the picture. For example, here the biggest line you have is the line that separates uh, the reflection from the real objects. And I think I could make a very very interesting photo if I was to make the reflection really really sharp, and at the same time make the real objects really really blurred out, because you'd probably expect the opposite, right? you'd expect the reflection to be less sharp than the real object. But if I reverse this, I can probably create a really, really interesting image. So in order to do this, 
what I have to do is I have to play around with this tilt shift using uh, two fingers until I have all the bottom part, all the reflection in between the two lines and let me see if I can get it here yep something like that and all the top part is going to be outside of these lines and then there's the transition and transition is really how far these two lines stand apart and what I can do what I want to do with transition here is I want to make the transition as sharp as possible if I made the transition uh, high something like this then really uh, the then the transition between the blurred out parts and the sharp parts wouldn't be as as rapid as I want it to be. But here I really want it to want the whole reflection to be sharp. Everything outside of it I want to be blurred out. So I'm gonna go ahead and decrease transition to zero. That's what works best here. It doesn't always look natural, but here we have the natural separation between the reflection and the rest of the photo already, so we can we don't need a transition. Okay, once we have this what we can do is, and by the way, this module tends to increase contrast on its own, so be careful with that. So what we want to do is we want to make the blur strength even higher. We want to really blur out the top so that it really looks uh, weird. And here you can see the difference. Once again, it, the top part used to be sharp, now it's really blurred out. And the bottom part is in focus. That's kind of an unusual sight, isn't it? Okay, and now once I have this, I think I can play a bit more with uh, brightness and contrast just to get this image a look a bit better. So let's see what we can do. Brightness, um, we'll go down to minus five. And for contrast, we can go to plus, plus 15 here. And I think that's good enough for now, so we'll save changes. And I also think I could add a tiny bit of vignetting here. So I'll go to center focus. I'll decrease blur to zero. I'll decrease inner brightness to zero. And I'll change outer brightness to whatever works best here. I'll make the circle a bit bigger, because I only want just the margins to be dark and I'll decrease outer brightness to whatever works best. Something around 80, uh, I think. Let's see, let's change this just a little bit more. 75 seems perfect, and if we compare it to what we had before, it just adds a tiny bit more of vignetting, it's not strong, but it just makes the image look a bit more appealing to the eye, I think. So once we have all of that, we can go ahead and save the changes. So in this video, I showed you how you can use Tilt Shift uh, for your creative advantage, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the last video of this iPhone photo tutorial.